mathematics department is, is, is one of the, the largest in the, in the UK um, and also one of the broadest. So, so as a result, uh, students are, are exposed to a, to a whole broad array of, uh, of research because uh, the department uh, excels in a very um, diverse range of, of fields. The, the main biological topic that I look at are um, mitochondria. Um, so inside every one of our cells, there's a, an enslaved population of th these things called mitochondria that we use to power our cells. Um, but this population shows variability and um, uh, we use stochastic process tools to study that variability and then the implications that it has on the rest of our cell function. And then more broadly, we try and back that out to think about general principles describing and constraining biological systems. So I'm a second year PhD student, which means that I'm about halfway. It usually takes three and a half to four years to finish a PhD. We are divided, but more for organizatorical reasons, into pure mass and applied mass, but actually it's pretty hard to say where we are, because for my example, I'm doing a PhD in the group of Dorothy Back, who is looking at DNA topology. So this means topology, especially knot theory. This is mathematic about knots, as you would tie them into your string, but from a mathematical viewpoint, applied to DNA, so to biological things. So, so my area of research is uh, condensed matter theory, uh, and or quantum condensed matter theory. Um, and the, the main um, equation, say like the, the Newton second law of quantum mechanics is, is the Schrodinger equation. Uh, the Schrodinger equation can be solved for um, only analytically for very, for very simple systems like one electron atoms. Uh, my research uh, focuses on uh, much more complicated systems of many interacting particles. I currently have two largest projects. Both of them are united by the common front that they are systems with multiple fluids in them, but they differ very greatly in scales. So one of them is on nanoscales, on electrohydrodynamic control of devices of those sizes, and how one can manipulate them with electric fields. This is work under Professor Dimitrios Papagiorgio. And the other one, again, concerns with multiple fluids, however, is of an aeronautics flavor. It has to do with uh, how liquid films affect the flow over certain objects, like, for example, aircraft wings. So if you have an air airplane taken off during, say, bad weather, it's raining on top of it, and you want to know how the liquid film impacts the aeronautical properties of the wing. What I look for in uh, a potential PhD student is, is uh, foremost uh, motivation and, um, and initiative because um, during the course of the, the PhD, uh, the student is going to be um, tackling a, you know unsolved uh, problem and uh, it takes a lot of per perseverance and motivation to, uh, to, to, to push through and, and, and solve the problem. Imperial is obviously um, uh, a world leading university and likewise the department. So. Um, uh, it, it's, it's fairly obvious to say that, that, that um, excellence is, is what we're after. Um, I think that uh, it's also really important to have um, uh, drive and independence um, in, uh, as a PhD student because that's uh, quite an important skill um, that the PhD helps develop, trying to identify your own strengths and making the most of the ones that you, you have. Um, but, but also it's something that um, helps um, uh, in one's future academic career if that's the route one chooses. So what is special about Imperial Maths Department is that we have lots of visitors almost all the time, even during term break, from almost wherever from the world who are invited to one of the many, many seminars we have weekly. At least for me, the main reason was that uh, I was told from the very beginning that the PhDs focused on, rather than a certain project in itself or the progress in a certain field, uh, on the academic evolution of the student himself. So I get the freedom to do a th series of things that are, of course, closely connected to my work, but that I like. And in the end, uh, my supervisors trust me with doing some progress in both problems. Uh, but I can also have some external collaborations, go to some conferences, and it's a very well-rounded uh, environment.